home to the number one hip-hop dance studio in the world. Paris Goebel, studio founder, has returned home to New Zealand after a month touring the US with Nicki Minaj. This is one of my dreams for sure, to be able to work with her. has been on the top of my list for years since she came out. <laughs> I started off with a very small job, like doing two numbers, but then you know, I, I gained like a, a relationship with her and she asked me to do a lot more work and I got to also choreograph one of her video clips. To be honest, like it's just like hanging with like one of your homegirls, like she's so funny. I was just laughing the whole time, she's so fun. Look at her butt. Drop down on them, bring back up. Take a yig in the building, go for back up. See, I don't want nothing but the snack, so see your back. Point her out, where she at? It's just days before the national competition and the studio is hectic. We're three days away from nationals and we're training and at the moment we've done most of our sets and we're just trying to transition and block everything. Now Paris is back, she gets to see the King's competition set for the first time. <laughs> The entertainment factor is going to make or break you guys. Yeah, but it's such a, it's a great set. That's all. With Paris having spent so much time away, it means there's a lot of work to do and many changes will be made. One of the biggest things is because we changed so much, so close to the competition, so we've already changed a couple of things today. It's just everyone remembering all those little changes and formation changes and heads and little things like hands and stuff like that. This year, the two adult crews are separated into a boys' crew and a female mega crew of 25. I've come back this year to join the girls' mega crew because I thought it would be something really powerful to come together as women and show other young ladies that you can stand alone as women and shine. So having 25 girls together and with all different ages, all different nationalities, walks of life, um, some from different countries, but you know, we have one thing in common and that's our womanhood. It's quite male dominated, I'd say. Like the, I haven't seen a proper all female dance crew try and take on the boys. Boys always win in mega crew, or like mixed crews always win, but like it's time the girls did it for themselves. Kaya Pierce has worked with Paris for six years and is one of her senior dancers. Everything I know is from her. I, ever, ever since I was about 12 years old, I've 
and now I'm like nearly 18, like all these years I've been dancing with her and I've learned so much. She just works really hard. People see her achievements and stuff and think it's easy to get where she is, but everything she's got in is all, is like pure hard work. Anybody can this position, please? This is the new thing I shot. Party yo, then me a mash up in a dot. Drop and a bubble and a sit down and scrap. Drop us, watch me style, new thing I shot. Money a rock and it a rock, rock, rock. Back and a beat it like when Panana, when Panana. Wine up everybody and a turn it that way. My body pretty when we turn it that way. New Zealand dance crews must place first, second or third in the nationals to be able to qualify for the world champs. As the studio heads towards the national competition, it's not uncommon for the dancers to practice into the early hours. What's the time? We don't finish till like 2am so it's like the early stages so I'm trying to like pace myself because I know when it gets to around like 12 and I'm just going loopy. You're going to work 8.30 and then training from 6.30 to late mornings to like 2pm, 2.30pm and then going home. 2.30am. I am. 2.30am. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so tired I am. <laughs> As the dance hours clock up, the injuries start to show. Oh, I'm just broken everywhere. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Because I do a lot of back bends in the set. It's like at least like 20 back bends in there, so my back is real tight and my whole, like everything's just real sore. But yeah, it's the whole process of nationals training, I guess. I don't see German, but I can't be like on the out. It seems like so now you could be like. The dancers have not had a night off in weeks, but everyone knows that's just what it takes to be in the palace. It's tough because for me, like hard work, it's all I know. For me to stay up to like 5 a.m. training, that's just how I grew up. There's definitely an expectation to work hard but there's an expectation to work hard, work harder, work hardest, work hard again. That's the expectation. So just one work hard doesn't count now, should you? Coming up, the countdown to the national champs is on. The Kings take the stage, but do their nerves get the better of them? I'm so nervous at the moment we're on about as well. Probably one more cruise straight in anymore. Oh, there's more breaking more on. It's all hands on deck as last minute touches are being made to costumes as the teams get ready for the national champs. Paris is very creative with her um, clothing. Paris' mind always changes, so it could change tomorrow and it could change next week, so it could change an hour before, which has been done. The Kings are the first to make their way to competition for prelims. They've rehearsed till the early hours this morning, making changes as they go. When we have like a last minute change, it's everyone just has to pick up on it straight away so that we're not freaking out about it. Just before <laughs> um, we go on stage, yeah. Kyle doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> it's a lie. Kyle's known to pick up the, the changes the quickest. Adapt, apply, and execute. Oh. <laughs> Wild teens, strip club music. The New Zealand Hip Hop Dance Championships are the biggest in the country. You must come in the top three here to qualify for the World Champs to be held later this year. To us, not placing first place is like coming last because we set high standards for ourselves and that's, that's what makes us who we are as dancers and who we are as a company. People might not like the way that that operates, but 
We only settle for first place. There are a few boys performing with the royal family for the first time, and nerves are starting to show. I think there's expectation with us because we knew they want us to step up to the people that have been there longer. So I look up to them, so I'm just like, I really want to be like them one day. Yeah. I'm so nervous at the moment we're on about there's well, probably one more cruise to go in more on. Oh, there's more break in more on. Yeah. Put your crowns up and make some noise for the kings. Well, well, well. If it isn't the one and only trash of the universe. Mm-mm-mm. Ain't that a shame. Oh, watch the hook. I take your poppy in your pocketbook. I take your poppy in your pocketbook. I take your poppy in your pocketbook. I take your pocket in your pocket, but I take your pocket. Tell a girl to touch her if she do. Tell a girl to touch her if she do. Then know that one that looks like a rush. She did a shave. I press it to her well in like a road. It won't be a thing. I'm going to go back It's later the same evening. Brett has been sent the results for the King's prelims performance, the first of two, if they can make it through. So, brother's score was 8.55, and the boys were 8.32. So you came second, but you came second, second. They came first, first. There's no, they, they beat you. You two have mentioned a lot for me. They won't see you perform for the last couple of years and they said not even close to your best. Yep, no fire, no passion. We're in the top two, but we're not, where we are right now, we're not going to come first on Saturday. Yeah. 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 I've told you and told you, if you do not bring the fire, you will not win. And that's the result. You need to have your food, sit down, sort it out, and let's get on with it. Yeah. Brothers, Mikey and Joe, were singled out in the judges' criticisms, and it's hit them hard. I was shocked. Um, I kind of like looked at my brother and was like lost and a little confused. I feel like I've let myself down and let my crew down. But we, we took it on board and we would be working on it, just making sure that it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Coming up, the Kings get another chance at first place, but someone will be forced out of the crew. Have to learn everything in one night, ready to perform tomorrow. The first all-girl mega crew takes the stage, but will they take the crown? Nobody likes second around here. Yeah. <laughs> Day of the finals for the New Zealand hip hop dance competition. Both crews will be performing. Both want first place in their separate divisions. I'm <laughs> Paris is making last minute changes to their set. She's always seeking perfection, and tweaks are common. Knees, 
We finished the set like today, just finished it, so a little bit nervous about that. We usually crews like finish like a month before the competition or like a week before, but we always finish the day of. Uh, it's not it's not the palace if we're not changing things the day of or before we go on stage. It's like our thing. That's what I train to do. Nobody likes second around here. Yeah, so yeah, we don't like second. The Kings will fight for first place tonight, but after months of training, disaster has struck. I've got an injury um, with my left foot. I was rehearsing last night outside and um, I rolled my ankle and then didn't realise that it affected my foot, so I can't do nationals. I am, I'm, I'm really gutted, like, trained since like January, February, since auditions, just for this moment. But one man's pain is another man's gain. Israel is a sub and now it's his moment to shine, but he needs to learn the routine and fast. It was a bit unexpected, I'm a bit overwhelmed by it. I have to learn everything in one night, ready to perform tomorrow. The loss of Joe has meant Mikey takes a new position up front. It's a challenge to learn the new moves. It's time for both crews to head to the venue for their big night performing for the national title. Time's up! Paris, like always, rides with her dad. We do that all the time. I love like his music. So, like, oh, can you play that song? He's like, oh yeah, he gets really cool and confident and like plays and then he just cranks it up and we just like dance in the car. It's real fun. Crews have arrived for finals night and the boys are eager to nail first place after a disappointing result in the prelims. There's a lot more than just the nationals at stake. If we can't place first in New Zealand then there's obviously a less higher chance of you being able to place first in the world. So obviously it's even a bigger deal tonight that we really push for that first place. Israel is feeling the pressure, having just learnt the routine overnight. Just the whole environment of being at a competition and just all the competitive vibes that we get, and so it comes um, with the nerves and, and whatnot, but it's normal. Anything that's soft and thin, you better haul it out because the other crew can't do it. And then we, when we go to hit Boy Gangster, let's give them a taste of our own medicine. So we came second with what you had, we've improved it, it's now up to you just go dance. It's two minutes, yeah? And then we can have a rest after, we all good? Just bring it, just have fun boys, like, just be you, just be free, yeah? Let's show everyone why we did it. We're gonna, we're gonna change the results. Let's get to work. Let's go boys. Let's go boys, everyone, let's do it for everyone. Let's go, hold on three, one, two, three. Hey! We're going to war as a family. It's war boys, we're on. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get it Kings. Girls watch the Kings perform on a monitor backstage. The fear for all dancers is the same, forgetting a move. Most people don't know what the routine's supposed to look like, but we know how the routine's supposed to be, and um, Paris knows what the routine's supposed to be. No, no, they don't lose points, just uh, execution. Only because it always happen if you've changed it overnight, you'll either get it right or, or you, you won't. 
we knew that we made mistakes in places and we laugh about it now and we're like discussing everything that we've made mistakes on and certain parts of the routine and everything else and we just didn't quite execute it as much as we wanted to. The all-girl mega crew are moments away from performing to a full house. There's always high expectations for any set that Paris is involved with. I haven't seen them, but I've heard them, and they're like crazy. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely challenging because we always have to like always run our A game. We always have to present ourselves well in front of everyone. You know, like it's not just on stage, but it's off stage as well. Behind stage, we're polite. Like we always have high expectations. From the Palace Dance Studios, please put your hands together for the royal family. Don't act like you forgot. I caught a shot, shot, shot. Like blah, blah, blah. Y'all should know me well enough. But I have my money. But I have my money. Pay me what you want it. But I have As the judges compile their scores, the girls are relieved their performance is over. Because before we're all stressed and it's a lot of tension and we're like, we don't want to muck this up, we've just changed this today kind of thing. And then, But after we've done it, like there's nothing we can do, we either killed it or we didn't and we kind of have to live with that and so hopefully it's all good. As prize giving gets underway, the Kings are in the adult division and the girls in the mega crew division. Both are hoping for first place. In second place, give it up for... Kings! So today Kings play second at finals, which means we qualify to go to the World Championships in San Diego, which is awesome. I suppose I'm a little, a little disappointed, but I would only be disappointed if I knew that it was a winning routine and I don't think that's what we did tonight so I can accept that and be ready for Wilkes. Yeah. Presenting the Takaha Otenatari Award for the New Zealand Champion Mega Crew 2015. And your first place...
qualifying for the World Hip Hop Championships. Give it up for the Royal Family! process is never new because we always work really hard but the results aren't always the same so of course when we do get a good result it's always a good feeling yeah we always appreciate it because we work so hard here we go nice and loud royal family on three one two three royal next week the brothers have a performance in their hometown of tokoroa three four ta 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 it's excited for both of us to come back and perform. It's been a while, but it'll be a good reunion. And one of the dancers gets the opportunity of a lifetime. This is the biggest opportunity I've ever had. Now Mahinui, Ki New Zealand on air.